Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason, it's Italy versus Germany. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And with that, the attack fizzles out. What's he going to do here? Muller. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Rafael Toloi plays alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And they stopped them in their tracks. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Jonas Hofmann plays with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the focal point in attack today, Timo Werner. Lost possession. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Raum. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Leroy Zane. Werner. Hoffman. A goal! A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Textbook defending inside the box. They've got it now, what can they do? Able to skip past his man. And the penalty is given. The referee right on the spot. And now a chance for them to take the lead here. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though.
This to give them the lead again. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Oh, this is looking promising. And the cross into the middle. Well, clattered away. Nicely timed tackle. He's got space. Hoffman. And Kimmich. Now, what can they do from here? Well, could it get wide from there? A pity, really. Disappointing pass. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he had plenty to say for himself in the first 45. Jorginho, what did you make of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And now they get the ball rolling. Lost possession. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it and now they've been rewarded. Werner, Hoffman, a goal, real excitement, a back and forth type of game, now they're level. Able to skip past his man. This to give them the lead again. Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. And Kimi. Now, what can they do from here? They're putting it wide from there. A pity, really. So into the second half, can Germany fight back after that first 45? Hoffmann. And making his move inside. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. And well, they're going for the short one. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Werner. It's with Gundogan. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Now delivering that deep cross. Not the best clearance. Barella. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. That's useful play. And just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Yeah. 
And as you can see, Italy have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Well, the supporters think it's on. Can he make it count? Oh, it's gone in! And from the tightest of angles, the keeper caught totally off guard. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment room to roam for Germany on the flank Gundogan was spot on with that challenge Hoffmann on to Werner Timo Werner can they slot at home well goal kick just as it was looking promising here it is now a substitution well the keeper was hoping someone might get on the end of it but it will be a throw-in. What's he going to do here? Muller. No problems for the keeper. Gundogan. Sané. Well, just the tackle that was needed. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And he could really get at the opposition. Chance to finish! And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Now sending it in. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for Italy. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, Thomas Müller can help out in so many different ways, but actually proving more of a hindrance in this game, Stuart. Well, I think he'd be disappointed that he didn't affect the game. He did OK, but in the end, it wasn't enough.